Hare Krishna. Here we are with uh, Vasudeva Prabhu and Madhava Priya Devi. They are actually serving in Germany, but uh, we took this uh, golden opportunity of their visiting Prabhupada Desh in Italy to hear this story. So I am Vasudeva Das. Uh, I am devotee since quite some time now. And I married with my wife Madhava Priya Devi Dasi. We married in 92. We meet in 91. Actually, yeah, we meet in uh, former Navajangani Singha Kshetra, now Simachana, in Germany. We come together there, we meet, and we were living there for five years after we married. And then we got a daughter in 92 also. We married every single one year, very fast. Uh, in one year, we got married, we got a daughter. She was born in September 92. And we were living together there for five years after due to some circumstances we have to move out from the temple we lived outside we went back to italy where i'm italian my boy is italian and we got three more boys and now we have four we were living there for some time after we moved to Prabhupada Desh, we were again doing some service for the temple for three years after we stopped doing that service to the temple i found the job working with the body uh, in the company, I'm making cookies and crackers. But in the temple there I was Pujari and I was serving Shishirata Madame Mohan, the main deity of the German Yatra, in the, there in Simachara. And after they moved the deity from Simachara Radha Madame to Golopetan, West Germany, at the and then we went back to Italy. And after, now since 2013, we start again to go there to Golopetan in uh, Abentoya. To serve Shishirada Madame Mohan. We moved completely there now, two years that we are back to the service of Shishirada Madame Mohan. I am full time Pujari there also now. And Krishna. Now it's 30 years that I initiated. We had a same spiritual master also in that time. But we were also preaching in our way, we were also preaching at least. Anyone you meet, we invite them. Yes. Um, yes. We, we make some uh, vegetables, we make some devotees, we distribute some books. It was an important part of the life mm. uh, outside. And yes, when the boys were born, I was always looking for a place which would be uh, better for them, of course. And then I wanted to move to Bhaktivedanta Manor because there was a school. Um, the only Gurukul in Europe was that level. Was that, yes. In 2006, I started searching for a place to move. Uh, but that was not possible from the economical point of view. So we, we started looking here in Italy what, uh, what could be a possibility, and then we came here to Prabhupada And we started doing the agriculture and the big garden, and the boys were very happy because they were other kids. And um, it was a wonderful time served here in front of the dash. And we, we also helped the community here to slowly, slowly we saw that uh, they could do also without us. And uh, our attachment to Shishirada uh, Madanwan's service was very strong also. And now our spiritual master is not visiting anymore in Italy so often. So there he is always a present. Before we were putting like children priorities, what is better for them. But we understood that if we are situated properly, then they are just following. And anyway, they, they have to find also their own way. But we needed our own uh, proper situation. The biggest boy is 20 years, and then 18 and 16. Yes. And my daughter, which is uh, 20, 27. 27 this year. Yes, for them this is very important to uh, see different examples of the devotees because they can see the devotees engaged uh, in a business, devotees engaged in service, devotees engaged in preaching, and um, we have we have taken this. Um, uh, I say as our priority to give them examples, not to ask them, you know, do you like this, do like that, but to observe their life. We never say you must do girls, you 
mass do this yeah. so maybe teach them more to be the example than to be mass maybe we should have been more strong in some situation but i think they are very good and somehow yes. we are happy with them they are happy to do the service and, uh, and <coughs> we are feeding them on their own time the first the idea what we got from Shira Prabhupada, Shira Prabhupada speak clearly about in the marriage, first of all, it should be respect to each other, to really respect and to help each other. That's why Shira Prabhupada, Shira Prabhupada speak about that the, the husband should help the wife in her spiritual life. First of all, because this is the most important, we have to follow the instruction of the Guru and the Parama Guru, Srila Prabhupada, who give us this wonderful movement. And uh, Prabhupada instructs the couple to help each other in spiritual life, especially when there are problems, to never you know, avoid problems and to help each other and to be open to each other, to open and to share the problems immediately, not keep problem getting more strong. You know? That's why husband should help the wife and the wife should help the husband. Yes, my main inspiration was um, that uh, Shri Prabhupada was instructing us to serve Krishna together, to um, be for each other always there uh, in every situation and especially uh, motivate um, to assist each other in, in, in service, in devotional service, and develop uh, gradually together, uh, the, make the progress, spiritual progress together. Um, so every, every instruction of Shri Prabhupada for the Grihastas is precious, something precious. I come to the Shikshamrita book where he talks, uh, answers the letters of the devotees and talks about different issues in Grihasta life. And, there I find always something that helps me to, to understand my position better as a wife, as a mother, as a divinity or something like this. She has such a, I guess, a, something like, un, one can say, a human, not human, <laughs> quality of helping by giving not 100, but 200 percent to others. I can say there are problems, but this is just one part. <laughs> so, uh, he has really many qualities as a person. Uh, but the most one, if I should like this spontaneous to pick up, is that um, he is always with, in peace with uh, every devotee. Um, he never quarrels openly. He is always resolving every situation in a very um, sweet and peaceful way. That's why he is he's always um, appreciated in every uh, situation he finds himself. Not only uh, in a devoted society, but also when he was working outside. Uh, every place he went, uh, he was always uh, loved and searched for and when he would have to go away and give up the job and then he would like call him oh why you have to go oh this this is a difficult question because for the five years we were living in the temple changing something i wouldn't change anything it was one of the time one of the best times of my life yes i remember we have difficulties relations especially with other difficulties but this is, I this is normal, this is uh, our life. But between us, was, I didn't find any problem at that time. Mm -hmm. We are not probably with happy service, serving 100%. We are doing our service 100%, engaged. Yes. I will not change this. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I was very young, I guess, it's, uh, like, we have like almost 10 years of difference. So I was very young when I knew my husband. And uh, I wasn't. Uh, I wasn't really always listening to him. Like he would say things. It took me many years to start really listening to what he's saying and accepting it like fully. 
She's from Serbia. Right? Serbia. I don't know if you heard okay. about that. So I was quite stubborn and, um, and passionate also when I was young. So if I would change something, this, this capacity to, to be able to, to hear, hear and accept. <laughs> Then, then I would not say instructions because he was never um, putting himself in a position like I'm giving you instructions, but advice. I had to catch him and take him like first. I was angry with him, I was not so angry. No, he was very angry, he was very angry. Definitely. The only name, the only name I believe is so powerful that every couple should put always as priority. For everyone, please never put the holy name in the secondary. Um, definitely, holy name saved us in many difficult situations. I mean, it's, a, it's our daily practice, so it's, it's, it's in the first place. Like you were saying, sometimes devotees feel too much guilt, yes. and so they yes. stop doing and everything. Right. And then they stop immediately to change, and they don't change anymore. And this is a big problem, and that you have difficulty in a relationship. Yeah. Take it easy, you know, if one day you cannot change things around, Maybe Saturday and Sunday you change it more. But during the week we are so busy, we have to do so many things. And I know many devotees then stop completely changing, they don't change anymore. But that's, that's finished. That's dangerous. Not only family life, daily life is finished. This is the problem that you have the tendency to, to desire to be perfect immediately. You know? Maybe possible. as you said before, no? in the beginning there was the construction of society to make everyone do must. And this was a problem. Now we have to change it a bit, the vision. But when we lived in the temple and in the community, it was more easy to change for the mothers because uh, yeah. you had other mothers, other uh, women, okay. and, and we were always a group, like helping each other. Um, when you are alone somewhere and you have no other devotees who can help you, you have no family who can help you. So then it becomes really like uh, intense. But I have also the experience that we started uh, our marriage in connection uh, in the service. Uh, because I met my husband, he was a Pujari, I was a head Pujari, so we started serving the ladies with, uh, together. And uh, the attachment to, to our babies and this attachment to service is um, all the time with us. Even when we were outside, we had always um, Shalom and Sheila, and uh, my husband never stopped doing puja, and I always had him, even when I had small kids. And this, when we got married with my wife, and I also I learned how to make yagyas or samskaras, and when we got married, Samarata, I ask, is possible to make my own marriage? But Lisa goes, why not? <laughs> and we, I make our marriage. Yeah. And it's still working. It's still working. <laughs> <laughs> there was an old couple in an airplane, and in the Sumna, in the Divasami airplane. You heard about the story? He went in the airplane, and they was looking this couple. They were looking so happy. Maybe 80 years in the port of them, very old one. And he asked, how long you are? He said something, 50, 60 years we are together. How is possible? <laughs> because we are honest, each other. We respect each other and we help each other. Yeah. That's why we are still together. To watch more, subscribe to Bhakti Marriage System.